It's just God calling me to a good life. Like, oh my God, you guys. First of all, welcome to today's vlog. All today's videos. Totally unplanned. Totally, totally unplanned. Because we were traveling back to Riyadh. And uh, from Tabuk. But it's been five weeks. I haven't given you videos. I have my reasons to why I have not been giving you videos. Like I told you in Saudi Arabia. So where we were, I was not in a position to give you vlogs and I will tell you why maybe in an upcoming video. But for now, first of all, acknowledge my room, you guys. I'm having all this place to myself. Uh, so we were coming back from Tabuk today. We were to travel. We are actually traveling back to Riyadh. I was not even planning to document this because I didn't think I needed to, I just needed to get home. But after we got to this hotel, I thought maybe we can have a video. Um, we were coming from Tabuk, right now we are at Taima. I think I mentioned this place in my, in one of my previous videos. Here it is in case you did it, you haven't watched it. So from Tabuk to Taima is about three hours because we left time, uh, Tabuk at mm, 6 p.m. We've gotten here at 9 p.m. One of my brother to my boss came to pick us up. We've gone to and we've gone and had dinner. I thought we were to travel at night because Niliona they travel at night. But next stop was here in this hotel, which I think I can't live without giving you content, guys. Because I mean, it's a good background, and uh, me as the content creator I am, we are always taking advantage of the best places we find. And I think I'm not, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. There's no way I'm sleeping, by the way. There's no way I'm sleeping. I'm gonna be giving you content. I'll make a few videos from this room, but even before we start, I want to show you the space that I have. I have this room to myself. I have my own toilet as well. So let me first of all give you a tour, and then I give you an update of what's popping, okay? Stay tuned. Let me tell you, 
the way this place is cold. You know, we are right now at winter, but uh, and then spending a night at this such beautiful hotel. Like, oh my God, how can you be spending a night in such a beautiful hotel all by yourself? Uh, uh, life is really unfair. Hmm? Anyways, I'm super happy about this space and uh, I am super, super happy about this bed. You guys, I have fallen in love with this bed. I have a bed in Kenya that I am coming to start with my living alone, but I think I just added this on my list, even if I won't get it immediately. Like, I've never seen anything fancy about this huge head beds but i really love this head i love the color it's like golden brown and it's really really beautiful like oh my god uh anyways uh where have i been we've been traveling for like five weeks i think since 9th of november when we left riyadh we left to Hail which I shared the videos over here. I think you watched those videos. And then we headed to my boss's sister in Tabuk, where we've been for literally a whole month. Uh, it was really good. I really had a good time over there. But of course, there is always advantages and disadvantages, especially when it comes to a house help life. And I want to put it here out right now that sometime you will travel with your bosses maybe two days or three days but as you've seen from my experience we've traveled for like five weeks and when we left home i had been told we will just only travel for like 10 days so for me i had packed for 10 days the good thing is the clothes i packed were quite enough even for a month and again the good thing about this place is that you can always wash your clothes with the washing mas machines and then spin them or maybe even dry them from the machines that's the other advantage about this place but the other disadvantages rather there are quite some number of disadvantages because for example when we traveled there there was a, a worker yes the sister has a big family and there was a worker but i think arabic people when they see you they just want to take advantage of you so that is one thing that you need to know they will tend to like order you around even when they don't know you your contract states that you can only work for your boss but when you come here it is not like that when you travel with them you will see them giving you like works to where you've gone you will even be given rooms to fold clothes and you know how messy they can get their wardrobes like and uh, i really wanted to put it out here and enlighten you about it because it is something i have already experienced uh, before i used to hear people say that when you go somewhere just say you are employed to work for your boss and honestly i get it at this rate because i was doing a lot of things in that house for me, uh, definitely what I do, I will do what I can do. And what I can't do, I'll definitely not do. Okay, I'm trying to keep my voice low because my boss are on the next room and I don't want to bother anyone sleeping right now because I think they're sleeping because we've been having a long journey or maybe we'll be traveling for quite a long journey. Tabu can Riyadh is really, really, really far, you guys. And uh, I'm just trying to keep my voice low so that we don't bother anybody but what i'm saying is you will go to their friends or family members houses they will see you as their own uh, housemate especially if you're good at your work your boss will want to brag about you and in return it is you that is going to suffer because you're the one that will be told to do most of the things in that house and you're not the one that is being paid at the end of it and trust me if you're too nice they will take advantage so me i will advise you what you can do please do what you cannot do do not do yes you have your rights you have your standards 
there's what you can do without complaining like washing the dishes and helping the house help clean the house but there are some things you cannot just do there are some things you can just do and it's been five weeks and i've been living like that i've been doing what i can do and what i cannot do i will not i was saying like i won't do it so disclaimer if you can be left at home please be left at home because for me when we traveled they told me that we were going to travel they were going to travel everybody in the whole house for 10 days and i had to go with them but if there was an option of me being left i would have rather been left because now when you go and stay there for like so 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 long it so it's now becomes a problem because now they expect you to do some of these things which are not wrong to do by the way i totally don't disagree with you doing them in now this depends with you okay if you know the jinga that's when unanza at least gonna eh banana bebo like you know so mina sapambia whatever that you feel is right for you you can do whatever that you feel like it's not right for you especially in that house that they have a house help try keep your limits yeah try keep your space the other thing that i would like to tell you is that mostly we try not to stay with the house help but i think if you're going to travel with your boss please stay with the house help request to even sleep with the house help because when we traveled i was sleeping in one of the daughters room yeah i was sleeping in the same room with my boss and you see let me tell you something if i was sleeping with the house help the house help in that house was sleeping at nine so if she was sleeping at nine i would be sleeping at nine and they won't come to wake any of us up but now i was sleeping with my boss because that is where i was given my bed you know here you don't talk wait what you're given is what you take you see and i couldn't have maybe said actually nikalale na mbochwenyu because you know you not you you you're, you're just trying to like keep it low you don't want to talk a lot so now when you sleep with them it is you that they will wake up it is you that they will tell you to do this and that and that especially when their house help is sleeping so if you can be able muki travel na ona kama mnda mali kulala request kulala na mbocho huko yeah okay for me sleeping with my boss was a bit advantageous because i'm having technical problems with my phone but again it was a disadvantage because pia watu wa wase walalangi usiku una lala mchana like so unapata usiku when you want to sleep or maybe you're tired from working so na jo wafanye kazi ndo unafanya kazi zile mingi they will they will be just be talking coming in shouting doing their thing like you know to them you're just a house help and even when you tell them to like keep quiet you want to sleep they will keep it low for a bit and then kidogo kidogo unasikia wameanza kugonganisha so Uh, so those are some of the things that you need to discover so i think next time come and possible actually me i can tell my boss acha to ni baki home kwa sababu literally 10 days stand to one month and one week you see yeah and uh, it's been a good ride i've been enjoying it of course to listen mama likona advantages there must be disadvantages but yeah those are some of the heads up that i want to give you that when you visit this other people houses wata kufanyisha kazi so it's up to you kama ni kazi unaweza fanya fanya kama ni kazi uwezi fanya waambie uwezi fanya na kama nyumba iko na msichana wa kazi mbona wakwambie kunje nguo doesn't make sense kama nyumba iko na msichana wa kazi mbona wakwambie uka you know ukafanya vitu zenye huo msichana huyo nyumba anafaa kufanya like kuosha walls wewe hebu kwa mjanja kwa mjanja sister just be eh boy yo this two years sometimes seem like they can never end but anyways that is it uh i think that's an enough update again that house uh the the madam there wasn't okay with me making videos ndo maana sijakuwa nikiwa pia videos as you can see my last videos ni zenye tukiwa ushago na after tumefika tabuk na another thing that i really really want to recommend here is that respect people's houses ukiambiwa kitu na boss wako tafadhali fanya chenye umeambiwa 
So me aliniambia ni si record kwake as in ni si make videos. Nikaona actually I won't even make this easy za kuongea tu kwa sababu mimi sipendi mambo na that is why I didn't make any videos for that time that I was there but yeah here we are with another video please watch it like subscribe comment and share with somebody to learn something about Saudi Arabia for now i think i'll just head to bed sije plan ya wa civil in nakaya kesho but kama tutaka huko mpaka kesho jioni i will talk about uh, the kind of people you will find in Saudi Arabia it's a video i've been really wanting to do but for now i love you so much have a good one have a good morning afternoon or evening wherever you're watching this video from and don't forget to subscribe Thank you so much. I love you.